Today, I am checking into one of the most unique and creative hotels on this planet. I'm gonna be showing you the Hotel Escaret Arte in the Riviera Maya of Mexico. We've got five all-inclusive nights in paradise, so let's get started. Right as you arrive. Mm. So, oh my god, it's chocolate de abuelita? Sí. I grew up on this chocolate. It's called cho chocolate de abuelita. And you can just taste the granular uh, texture to it. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah? That one's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little word of advice when you get here get the chocolate de abuelita. The vibes are already good. Yeah. All right, it's time to check in. Apparently, with our stay, we have a butler, which is crazy. This wow. is Jean. Oh, yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. Jean speaks exactly. Spanish, English. I've heard you speak French a little bit. Yes. So this is my pass, all access pass to the resort. The reason this is called Arte is because all of the hotel is based off of different Mexican styles of art. Right now we're in a side of the hotel that's all about textiles and sewing. So you can see here all the lights are like these spools. Got a button on the door. It's really, really cool. There's a lot of attention to detail. And apparently we can actually go and do these activities. So we can go sew textiles downstairs. We can do pottery. We can do all sorts of different arts, which is a really cool concept. So far, very, very impressive. It's literally a museum, right? Yeah, it's a museum. It's called Talavera. And it's especially made for the resort. Wow. These are so beautiful. This is a piece of art. Look at this. Seriously stunning. So there's a few coffee shops throughout this entire resort, but we're gonna start our way here. I'm such a suck for cool looking coffee machines. And look at this one. It's one of those drip presses. It's so beautiful. Gracias. Oh my gosh. Look, they put a little heart in your coffee. Mm, it tastes so good. That we have all this unlimited, all inclusive food and dessert, and it's good. I've never personally been a huge fan of the all-inclusive concept because generally food suffers. It usually is mass-produced, it doesn't taste good, but I actually had such a great stay when I was here three years ago. Like the food blew me away, super high-end, super creative, and lots of love was put into it. But I'm very excited to go explore this new one and see what it's all about. Gotta cross the bridge. Wow. What is that? It looks like Lord Farquaad's house. That must be Lord Farquaad's castle. Yeah. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> We've literally been like transferred back into time and we're in this like Mayan jungle paradise kingdom. Mm -hmm. So cool. Okay. So there are a few portions of the hotel that are like VIP areas. So that's where you use your bracelet. Oh my gosh. This place is huge. Look up. That's the pool. I'm surprised to show you. Not only do we have a hot tub overlooking the ocean, but we also have a hot tub right here. <laughs> wow. Look at all the tile work. It is so incredible. They have so many snacks stocked up. They've got a coffee machine. And I love the splashes of color. It's so cool. He just told us that apparently we can order room service straight from the TV. Wow. I mean, look at that. So epic. It's time to collect the gear and we're gonna go out and shoot, explore, go see what's up. Hey baby, wanna go to the pool? Let's go. Got ourselves out of the room, and for good reason. It is such a beautiful day today. Look at this swim up pool bar. This is so cool. Check this out. This is the private access to the ocean they have here at Eshkaret. There's some pretty big waves, and there's a little bit of rock, perfect white sand. It's a really, really interesting beach. I think it's beautiful. Wow. Look at this. This is the spot to be for sunset. So this is actually the exclusive side of the resort where you gotta have you gotta have that special bracelet, you know? Hola senor, uh, dos piña colada. You're looking at two massive piña coladas. Oh! With these bracelets, you can tap around the resort. Check this out. Ready? And there's the camera up there. Oh my god. Hey guys. That's what happens when you drink three piña coladas. Insane, look at that, what? Every now and then, I love the style of travel. I know it's not like, you know, 
the craziest off the beaten path, experiencing the local culture, but it's just fun. It's just relaxing and it's beautiful. So we just got back to the room and uh, the colors are so beautiful in the sky. There's these really fluffy clouds all around us with the pastel yellows and purples and all that. It's painting. It is. Basically. But the best part is I'm filling up the tub. Oh, I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and do a little hocus pocus. It is time for us to try out this hand painted bottle of mezcal. Now I'm honestly not huge on mezcal. It's like tequila, but smokier. Ooh. <laughs> it is another insanely beautiful day here in Playa del Carmen. She's so happy. Huh? I said you're so happy. There's nine, I think nine parks connected with Escaret. So they've got like everything from like eco parks, they've got adventure parks. They have cenotes. They have they've, cenotes. Yeah, they have jungle. Oh, they have water rafting. The only water rafting here. Mm -hmm. And they also have like nighttime zip lines. I don't know if many of you guys know, but Christian used to be a water aerobics instructor for the elderly. Uh, it's not for the elderly, it's just that's the only people to show up. Okay, so uh, today is your day to shine and show me what your uh, routine was. It's all about <laughs> water resistance. So anything that pulls away the water, uh -huh. that's a move right there. It's like, all right, ladies, let's go. You do that with a good song, do it for 20 seconds, you'll start to feel tired. I don't do that for free, so you guys are going to have to join my exclusive community. If you I would take your course. My favorite part of the day, food time. Walk. <laughs> Walk time. One of the craziest things about this entire place is the lagoon. It's just incredible and it's so expansive. I mean, when you get high up, you can see how this entire lagoon is all around the entire resort. People can take paddle boards, canoes, kayaks. I love this place. I'm in love. I want to live here. <sighs> Look at this guys, you come up on the other side and an absolutely perfect beach. The warmth of the sand feels so good. Wow, guys, check this out. Oh, they're fighting. There's two iguanas, they're fighting each other. Uh-oh. <laughs> Literally more action than we got in our entire East Africa trip. Finally got to see a kill. Oh, he's bleeding. I guess he got, he must have got bit. Right now, we're actually leaving Eskaret Arte to bring you guys to Eskaret Park. Tonight they have a show set up for us. I actually don't know much about it other than it's like a chance to learn about Mexico's history through song, dance, some sort of beautiful show. Coffee to go, and here is our pickup. I remember this three years ago getting picked up from the airport, the Cancun airport in this bad boy. Look at that. They've got like that thatch material on the roof, pink escaret. All the land is like connected, so you basically never leave their land. You're just going between different parks. Okay, actually a super seamless system. Oh my God! First, you literally couldn't make me happier. You just threw in flamingos in there. I knew that was gonna happen for sure. Uh-huh, yeah, you I, pointed I that it out. <laughs> Wow, look at this guys, so crazy. You gotta give it to him guys, it's pretty incredible. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, there's, <laughs> there's so many. Like everywhere you look, more rivers, more fixtures, cenotes, it's insane. I love Mexico. Just the our Mexican architecture just celebrates nature in such a beautiful way. And yeah. it's just, I feel like I'm in, a, in paradise. The park comes with the show, but there's a special package uh, that we have tonight, and it's uh, the dinner. Wow, this thing is huge. It's like a modern day Coliseum. Guys, I have to make an intro here. This is Lucia. <laughs> and Lucia is on the, the PR team for Eshkaret, and she just dropped this on me. She's like, I'm part of LCA, which is like insanely crazy. Yeah, I love, I love LCA, especially in the pandemic. Wow, that's very sweet. Wow, look at that guys. 
Everybody has their candles lit. Our first course is arriving. Hola, Hector. Hola. How are you? We have a seven course meal here. And we have the best seats in the house, I think. Like, we are right dead smack middle. <laughs> Okay, great. Thanks a lot for that look in the sports, Brian. Now, lobster tail? That is not what I would have expected from this. It's really good. Good morning, guys. So I told them I liked sparkling water. They took me seriously. <laughs> Anyways, we are right now off to go and eat some breakfast. The cool part is after, we're gonna go and check out their spa. So this is Kibi Kibi. It's a crazy, crazy concept of a restaurant. Like on this side, you see the beautiful blues. On this side, it's like this very elegant and intricate restaurant with so much detail. Even this, check this out. QR code, the menu is all knitted by hand. I don't know how they managed to pull off such a large resort and yet have no single part of the hotel like neglected. Everything has so much attention into it. I mean, it's just a monstrous project. I've had a lot of different coffees in my life and I've never had one like this. This is the best coffee I've ever had in my life and I don't like coffee. That's a very big statement. There's just been a symphony, a delightful symphony of dynamic flavors in this entire meal. I've never been to a place where every single dish hits the ballpark. So this place is literally so big, you can get lost. We're trying to find the spa. I think it's down this crazy crooked path. So, so, so crazy. This place is a dream. All right, nice to meet you, Lena. Okay. A synergy. Lavender is wow. my favorite. That smells amazing. So now we have to decide on the oil. What was the other one though? Green tea uh -huh. and chamomile. This is calendula, vanilla, and lavender. And this one? Wow. I like low key want to build this in my house. Like have a little underground area. I think you should. Let's imagine just like one little corridor and you have this like rock pool right there. They have multiple pools. This one here is a hot tub. If you connect over there, it brings you to the cold tub. And over here is like room temp. For me, this is just the dreamiest, coziest setup being inside a little like white cave. It's so beautiful in here. Oh my gosh. So right now we're going to our treatment through this tunnel. Oh, I can give up on finding a better spa. It's here. This is amazing. So you've got a little private seating area. So when we're ready and fully unchanged, we take this. That was so relaxing. I thought it was a song at first when I looked up and it was raining in the lagoon behind us and it was so beautiful. My only complaint is it wasn't long enough. Right outside. Where else in the world do you find something like this? Like this lagoon out here? And it has just started raining, which for me is just like the most romantic, beautiful getaway you could ever have. Being in a warm, cozy place with the rain. Look at that. What was a quick little massage was really three hours of just hanging out in this area. And now we're gonna go grab some lunch at a restaurant that was set up by one of the most famous chefs in all of Mexico. Cuevas, which is where we're having a Sunday brunch. Wow, you really do need a helper to get around this resort. It's so big. Oh, they have a cheese and wine area. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, it's crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Oh my god, what on earth? 
did I do to deserve this? It is literally a market. Unbelievable. This is so cool. Is this Oaxaca cheese? Guys, I am having too much fun. What do I do though? There's so much food and only one stomach. Like literally, I wish for this moment my stomach could just double in size. Nutella with banana with a crepe. And right next to me, soy milk cappuccino. Gracias. I think our waiter is trying to kill me. I'm like, hey, can I get some spicy sauce? He's like, no worries. Comes back with habanero sauce. He's like, unspicy. From one to 10, this is 11. It's so, so refreshing to uh, be traveling like this and just relaxing. True to its name, there are a bunch of different places where you can do art. You got one room and workshop dedicated to painting, one here is for pottery, there's dance classes, and all sorts of other styles of art that you can join in on, and it's really cool because, you know, if you want to break away from the pool, the sun, if it's a rainy day, it gives you something really cool to do. And this is the Chinese restaurant, which apparently has one of the top 50 chefs in the world. So we have a seven course meal. I had no idea. I came in here unprepared. It's fermented pineapple. Wow. This is not alcohol, this is juice. Damn, you could get a toddler drunk with that. It tastes like a delicious juice box. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh my God. Wow. Delicious. It burst in my mouth and all of a sudden it was like my taste buds from corner to corner were like filled with this kind of like citrusy sweet taste. The second course is a walnut with foie gras and a bit of gold on it. The idea of foie gras, not a big fan of it. The taste of this, it's like the inside of a Ferrero Rocher. This soup, I loved it. It was like a creamy spicy taste but at the bottom they actually had the peas popped out of the edamame. Based on what garnishes you choose, from the mole to the sauce, yeah, you can make it however uh, you see fit. Whenever you come somewhere like this, it's all about trying new things. And tonight, almost everything was a new taste, a new palette, and I'd say nine out of 10 things I really loved. So that says a lot. Everything was delicious. And I love that it was a, an experience. It kind of took you through a journey of flavors and food, and I had a lot of fun eating my dinner. All right guys, welcome. We have left the hotel. We're headed into one of like the eight parks. This is Explore. I'm so excited! When 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. hits, it actually goes from the daytime activities to more of like a creepy, cool nighttime effect. So it goes from Explore to Explore. Fuego. Next up, Corazon. <laughs> Why are you being so creepy? You have to say it with passion when you speak as a Latin American, you know? You don't just say corazon, you say corazon. Look at all these stalactites or stalagmites. I could never get it straight. <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure? <laughs> all right, guy. first adventure. We got the helmets and the jackets on. I thought it was gonna be like a jacuzzi. I knew you were gonna do that. Stop it. Yay! Just make me fall. There's fishies in here. So it's a 30 minute cave adventure and it, it's lit up. That's why it's called Fuego. Okay, let's do it. Are you ready? <gasps> oh no, it's cold! They're like, we have to work here all day long. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's nighttime, so it didn't, doesn't help. Okay. <gasps> ah, I'm just going in! I did it! You can't touch the ground, so you're forced to swim. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so cold. Come on. Are we there yet? Can't find your way out. I'm losing body heat. If there's one thing you can do for my dying wish, is to hit the follow button. I found the light. We made it out of the cave. I thought it'd be a lot darker outside. Behind me. Survived the river rafting. And now we're ready for a rootin' tootin' good time. On to the next activity. Toboggans. Did you say raft. toboggan? Yeah. It's a raft. Oh, is that? Okay, wait a minute. It's a toboggan if it's on like ice. Oh, I thought we were going so fast. They just realized he's pushing us. <laughs> this place is really cool because not only is it a themed amusement park that has to do with nature and it's centered around like the cave and the cenote and the river, but it's really cool because it's natural. Okay, okay ready? Absolutely. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> 
You really have to press on the gas. This is so fun <laughs> at all. Like, <laughs> woo! Let's make sure. Am I good? Okay. Here we go. It is dinner time and we've come to Las Cuevas again. It's where we had the brunch the other day, but this time we're actually here for dinner. You get an option of different kinds of meat coming through at all times. And you have this little topple that says, I'm ready for more meat. Give me more food or I'm not. So you get these little clips and then you can take the meat straight from here and you put it on your plate. Wow. Just a second later, another guy comes up and look at that meat. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. The turkey is some of the best I've ever had. The bacon, some of the best I've ever had. And the flavors are so good. It's been like seven minutes, and seven different meat trays have come by. Roasted pineapple covered in cinnamon. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh man, this is special. No. Best ribs. I told Ruby I'm done, and then my favorite meat. I am done. I haven't even eaten my ribs yet. It's an intervention, Ruby. I'm not ready yet. Oh, that's my favorite other meat. Damn it. They brought us one of every dessert. Also, the waiter brought us another lava cake because he saw how much we were enjoying it. For this being a hotel that's all inclusive, you know, servers usually aren't that good, but every server has gone beyond just to make us happy make sure that everything's fine. Yeah, the service is really good, food's really good. It's all inclusive, but one thing that's worth kind of noting is there are, I think, different levels. I think there's like two levels. I'm gonna drop the prices here. These are roughly like, you know, entry level prices. And then I think our room can be upwards of over $2,000 a night. So, you know, you're paying for access to the facility, to an incredible state-of-the-art room, the food, the drinks, the service, a butler. Uh, but it also um, gives you access to all their parks. So it's not cheap. It's really expensive, but I mean, I think my test is like, would I come here if I was on vacation? Yes. You know, and, I, and for me, the answer is yes. So it goes without saying, I love this place and I'm definitely gonna be coming back soon.